Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another episode here on Play for the People. I'm so happy that you're able to join us today. My name is Mimi, and today I will be giving an advanced level online ballet class here in the comfort of your home. And later on in the show, we have our very special guest visiting us. She is my dear friend and also a professional ballerina. I cannot wait for you to all meet her. Let's go ahead and get started first with our DAs. All right, dancers, we're going to start from first position and preparation seven and eight. Coming into a parallel stance, bending forward, pour right parallel, rolling up two, and then bending towards your apparatus at home and a plie through and turn out on the way up. Uh, ground plie down three and four, plie, roll through. Breathe, or force, arch, ton, do in second. Bending over to your apparatus, plie, and through. And um, I'm going to do three press ups, two and three, with straight knees, maybe let go. And two ground plie, second, three and four, reverse, six, seven, fourth. We go come right front half, and going back, maybe a little bit bigger for the second round, six, seven and eight two plies in fourth three and four rise balance tendu and thin in fifth we do plie two four two we do three press ups in susu and six third one a longe eight a grand plie two three four forward bend all the way seven and eight a quick susu and just finish Beginning first, parallel, forward, roll up, to your apparatus, big plie in parallel, seven and eight. Plie, uh, sorry, ground plie, and then we're gonna do a roll through, reverse, on to second. To your apparatus, through, three, relevance, let go. Two ground plie, seven one reverse. Fourth position, cumbre, cumbre, cumbre a little bit bigger. It's almost like rock by baby. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, just make it very, very fluid. And then we do two plies, rise, six, tendu, fifth. In fifth, two plies, three press ups in susu, third one, you elongate. Dive in, into a ground plie right away. A forward stretch, press up, susu, let go, and find your finish, okay? First side, our plies, first position. Great pair. We're going to go into sixth position, bending all the way over, rolling to your apparatus. One more plie, then turn it out. Wrong plie. And we're going to do a press up and reverse that. Go into the second. Stretch to your apparatus, middle through. Three, and two, and one. From plie. And let's reverse it. Transition into fourth. Forward. Two, one, please. 
heel forward. Again. Two gentle kicks. Back legs over that toe as well. Press it up. Find your way along to your line and let go. Good. from your sister. And just a plank forward bend all the way home. Sister right away after you put a rock hold. And finish. All right, dancers, let's move on to our quick tendu from first. We're going to begin in first, just two to the side of front, side back. Two. To the center, reverse, back, side, front. We go for a walk, Tommy Ace, the first one is to the side, and back, around. Fourth to the front, around. To the back, Tommy back, and a clash front, back, first. Reverse, and a two, and a one, two, three, two, and a two, and the front, side, back, to the side, going back. Coming forward, six and a flush, flush together. A forward stretching first, going back as well. Play through first arch and just maybe test your balance. For it. Hold it forever, maybe the second eight, you can just close your eyes and make it a little bit more intense. And then come out of it, soft knees and finish, all right? Two to the side and a front, say back. Two to the side. Back side, front, tommy a, tommy a, tommy a, tommy a, step and step, clash, clash together. Reverse. Back side, front, and a two, out of, and a front side, back. Tommy a, tommy a, tommy a, tommy a, tommy a, and a clash, clash together. Stretch front, stretch back, row through, find your balance. Here we go, dancers, let's give it a try, and first position for a pair. We go back, sit, forward, two, and up front, side, up, side, forward, two, reverse, back, side, front, tongue, lean, tongue, lean, walk it to the front, walk it to the back, hold, flush, flush, reverse, we go to, to the side, back, side, front, repeat, and up front, side, back, we walk it, Come in front and a clush, clush together. Let's stretch front. Rolling up, lift it in the back. Let's rise. If you wish. And back. And let's finish. And hold. Beautiful. Let's go over to the other side. Two to the side. Point your toes. And a one. One. Reverse. Here we go. Side. We go. And a front. And a back. And a flush, flush And don't fall. 
And let's come out of it and finish. All right, dancers, moving on to a quicker tendu from fifth. We're just gonna do a coupe down, tendu set. Quick front side, sure ball side, closing back. Tendu back through, front in, coupe change. I know that's a lot, I'm gonna try to reverse the front of the back. Coupe down, tendu side, each one is one count. Then I'm gonna do quick back, quick side, Cheval side, closing fifth, tendu front and cloche back, and an A, coupe change. And then we're just gonna repeat that whole thing one more time. Coupe down, tendu side, inside, outside, and cheval. And back through, and an A, coupe change. Reverse it to the side. Back side, cheval. In, tendu back, and a fifth, coupe change. Then we're simply going to go over to your apparatus down, to your apparatus around, and let's take a coupe balance for that combination, all right? Coupe, side change, and then in, in, cheval, in, tendu cloche, fifth coupe change, reverse, tendu side, back, side cheval, in, tendu back, in, coupe change, repeat it. Side bend through, side bend through, and gather up. Find your balance in coupe or even wrapped in sur coup de pied, your choice, and just hold. Quick coupe, tom, and up through, in and change, reverse, tom. Plie, sous, 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 tenu, plie, 
Again, four, three, and hold. Balance, two, three, four, five, six, and finish. All right, Betty J's energetic lights, here we go. stretch then you're going to do a slow let go and then the leg, leg is going to descend touch to tondu drop to the back one slow up here speed it up for two and we plie one stay in the back from here we're going to lift into your arabesque and close then we're just going to re or actually repeat the stretching portion one more time getting it to the front and grabbing it to rotate it to the side. Keep this hip down as much as you can. Now hype it up, all right? And just stretch out your leg, right? And then we're gonna let go with ease and control, and then uh, reverse it to the front. Two, uh, one slow, a tear. Reverse for two. Plie from here. You can just come right, uh, come, um, yeah, come right to the back a little bit, lean back a little bit. And then we're just gonna do a circle quarter bra. And why don't we come into a releve to do your reverse circle, six, seven, eight. And then from here, let's just do an attitude to the back and let's just find our balance there. And just hold, all right? Stretching, stretching, let go, descend. One slow, two quick. A plie, from there, lift, reverse. But you're gonna repeat the stretching portion, descend. One slow, two quick, one plie, leave it there to the front. Lean back. Circle, second one, releve, and then going through a attitude back. Balance in your attitude. Anything with an ALJ out of it, coming out of it, all right? Our stretching and round the jump combination. Starting with high passe. Here we go. Lift. We go one slow and two quicks. We go and reverse. Same stretch. Thank you. 
Um, let's come out of it and let's go over to the other side. But here we go, dancers. Pause six. Slowly let go. We go slow. to our front days and in combination with petite bubbles. Prepare seven and eight. Two plain front days to the front. Then we do a coupe back. Change inside back. Then outside side with a flex foot. Then we're going to do two to this side. Inside coupe, outside flex. Back, two, inside, and a flex. Petite bubbles to the side. Reverse. Pretty simple pattern. Each time to the side, over and over. Front for two. Flex, I mean, coupe and a flex and point and petite, blah, blah, seven and eight. Let's just repeat that pattern, but everything's gonna be on releve. So we're gonna do two to the front, coupe, coupe, two to the side, coupe, coupe, back, coupe, coupe, petite, blah, blah, on releve. Back. Coupe, coupe, side, coupe, coupe, front, and petite, and finish, okay? Very there, we go to. Reverse. ballerina will come on and dance with us during reverence. It's a very simple exercise from Balmance, which is going to simply take two to the front and for from here we're just going to do a little beret around. So 
seven and a eight. Side four, two, three, and four. Same idea array, around. Back four, two, three, and four. Let's reverse your beret. Seven and a eight. A back, a side. No change, a side. And change, a front, and finish. Just on the first side, okay? Two, beret around. Side for two, beret around. Back for two, beret, reversing your pathway in that circle. Then one to the back, two to the side. First time, don't change, the second time you change, and a front, and finish. Here we go, dancers. friend is here with us right here right now so I'm going to invite her to come on and here she is hello Raquel hi hi Mimi how are you hi so I'm doing you. so I nice to see you it's been so long, long. Yeah. I know since like March I know <laughs> it's been oh my gosh it's almost like a year <laughs> I miss your class so much Mimi but it's I'm so glad to be here and yeah. thank you so much for asking me to be a part of this I'm so you excited Yay, yay, me too, Raquel. So tell us a little bit about your, your yourself. We would love to get to know you a little bit more. Yes, well, um, well my name is Raquel Beauchamp. I'm originally from San Juan, Puerto Rico. And I uh, moved here about nine years ago already. Oh my goodness. Um, and I've been dancing my whole life. Right now I dance with American Liberty Ballet. I'm in the Porta Ballet. Um, I also dance with uh, Absence Dance Theater. And yeah, I've just been trying to keep busy during these times. <laughs> That's so cool. And I know that you're yeah. teaching after school. In, is it in New Jersey or in the city? Yes, I actually, uh, I teach an after school program to three different age groups, which is super fun. They're, they're really lovely girls. And even the teenagers, like they learn so fast. They're amazing. Ooh, the teenagers. Um, and, huh? I said, ooh, the teenagers. You know how they are. Yeah. I know. No, I feel like the first class, they were like, oh, you know, whatever. Yeah. Ballet. But then as we have progressed, they're so into it now. We're like learning things, we're dancing, yeah. and it's just always so exciting to see, to see them grow, you know. Um, yeah. And it's, besides that, I've also been teaching a super fun class for adults, uh, which is a pop ballet class. Basically, it's your regular kind of open level ballet class, mostly for beginners, but we just go take ballet to pop music. So we've done different things like Lady Gaga ballet, Dua Lipa, <laughs> Spears, Beyonce, you name it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking some like questions. A like I'm taking your class as we speak. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, that is so cool, Raquel. You're, one thing I love about you as a ballet teacher, because you also teach at the um, school, the American Liberty Ballet School. Yeah, that's, um, that's where I teach the pop ballet. I should have specified. Yeah. No, that's okay. Yeah. I mean, I absolutely loved working with you and just having you in my class to add on that positive aura and the professionalism. You know, it's so nice to have students from all walks of life, but then you as a company member will come on with like Alex and others that are in the company. And then you guys just make the class so much more ins inspirational for like our open yeah. level students there. And one thing I love about you is just your creativity. Like you have 
an entrepreneur mindset and you know how to invent curriculum that's like very cashy like the pop ballet i'm i'm i would never have thought of that that's cool and i yeah, know like people that learn every, everything that you will learn in a regular ballet class as a as a beginner and i have some i have some more intermediate students too so we keep it fun you know yeah. um but you definitely like learn something even if it's just the musicality getting something really sharp on the beat or being very flowy on this other part just kind of that quality of movement i love to play with that with pop music that's so cool and then come on lady gaga come on beyonce i mean that that sounds like a dance party right there I mean, for, for it's adult. so fun and it's at 10 30 a.m on fridays so yeah. it's like the best way to wake up start your weekend <laughs> it's super fun love like, it. it's really cool love it one of these days i have to take one day off from work to just go and take your morning and ballet yes. pop, pop ballet class oh my god Please come. You're going to love it. We yeah. even start the class. Like, we'll start it. Sometimes it depends on how we feel, how warm we are. Yeah. But I try to always start it on the floor with, like, a floor exercise or maybe a one-minute plank. So we do get a little bit of floor workout right yeah. before getting to the bar, which is always fun. Like, it's I always good that. for us. Yeah, that I, I love having warm-ups like on the floor for ballet class, for like adult classes. I always yeah. love that. I just feel like it so preps gross. me better for the bar and then the bar preps me better for the center. It just, it's a logical progression and I just really appreciate, you know, that mm -hmm. part of that. That's so great. So tell, tell us a little bit more about your passion for reverence. I mean, that's why I asked you to come on so we can do the reverence together. Oh my God. Well, I mean, I, to me, I love, the, I love reverence. You know, I feel like a, a class isn't complete without reverence. It's kind of one of my pet peeves. Like if you take class and all of a sudden Second you do half. run a leg room and it's just like, bye. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. I know. Bye. Yeah. I know <laughs> we also rush through the left side because like time is running out. So it's like, everybody hurry up. Left side. Just one time. Let's go. Exactly. Like yeah. even if I have to, rush through it i try to always have the reverence because it's that special moment for, for for yourself like as a student i feel like the moment for yourself to thank yourself for being here and and like thanking your body for all these things because you know ballet is not easy so you oh. know just that you showed up and you tried and like and you were present with your teacher so i think that's a very personal moment and and also with your teacher thanking your teacher and like they took the time to to be here and, and teach you and give you their wisdom, you know, so yeah, I, I think it's a very special part of class. So when you asked me to do this, I was like, a reverence, like, I'm ready. <laughs> so <laughs> ready. That is so cool. I wish I had like bouquets of roses. So at the end, I can just, or like chocolates or something, and just throw it through the, the Zoom screen here and give it to you. I know, so, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, and especially. Yeah. Especially with you, Mimi, like I always loved your reverence because you were always super creative with your reverences. It has choreography to it. A lot of times, even my like myself included, I'm guilty. Literally, my reverence in class is always kind of like your port de bras, yeah. like and plumier, divan. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, but you you always come up with something so different, and it, it really inspires me to just think outside the box and do something beautiful that just feels good and dance. Thank you, Raquel. That means so much to me. And uh, without any further ado, I absolutely love this conversation. Let's chat offline, you know, after this. I know. <laughs> but um, but um, let's let's just go ahead and learn the rubber rounds real quick with our dancers and then try with the music. All right, awesome, let's do it. All right, dancers, let's go ahead and start our rubber rounds standing in fifth position on Foss. Beautiful Raquel. From here, we're just gonna do a little quick pas de cheval. And from here, you're gonna do a touch tendu. And then from here, you're gonna bend away from your tendu foot and return going through first position in your arms and lift up to second. From here, you're gonna forte into your arabesque. And then from here, okay, you're gonna try to stack your arms together as if you're trying to aim at a target with a golden bow and arrow. And then from here, you're gonna release as if you just release an arrow. And then from here, you're gonna just brush your legs through. And from here, over the legs, in plie tendu, we're gonna do a quick beret around yourself. And at the last moment, you're gonna pick up your back foot and into a passe position and closing it to the front. 
Now we're ready to do it to the other side, all right? Quick cheval, touch tendu, then away through first position and lift and hold, sorry. Your leg is up, and then from here, you're gonna do a fouté arabesque to the corner. I'll let you think about which ballet I was inspired by. So from here, you stack your arms one more time, and then you're gonna release, and then from here, through tendu, going over to the other side, and break around. And then from here, you're gonna lift up your back foot into a posse on the eighth count, eight, so that you can step through to the front, step to the back, then to the back, nice recall. Uh-huh, from here, I'm gonna give you guys the answer's choice with your arms when we're doing these little ballet walks. And then we're gonna shift our weight and coming back into a tendu to the arabesque position, uh-huh. From here, you're gonna do a arabesque lift slash penche, and then your quarter bra is this diagonal. Your arms are in this beautiful diagonal position. And then from here, you're gonna hold it for a little bit. Then you're gonna release, coming into a fourth plie, and lift up, arms are in high fifth. From here, we're gonna forte to the other side. And now you're ready to do your ballet walks from the other side, slowly. And then again, these arms are your own choices. Okay, you can do anything you want. Step back, step back, and then plie front, lift, and penche plie, and bend and take up. From here, a little break, forward, and then from here, tuck your back knee and bow. And that's the end of our reverence. Lovely, Raquel. So nice. I love your skirt too. It's gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and try it with our music dancers. And we should fall. And away. Reach, lift, and arabesque. Stack. And eight. Through. Arm around. Break. And pasta. You guessed it. This is Sylvia Ballet. And then away. Reach. And arabesque. Stack. And eight. Plie. Arm around. Pasta on eight. here on Play for the People. And Raquel, what a joy, what a treat, what an inspirational interaction with you. And we're dancing again virtually and reunited and it's just been so much fun seeing you again and chatting with you and catching up with you. Thank you so much again, Raquel, for coming on and being our special guest today on our episode. Dancers, I hope you had a great experience and that you can subscribe to Play for the People today or share this wonderful class with someone that you know. Or you can also write to us directly at plieforthepeople at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And until our next episode, as I always say, stay hydrated and keep on practicing your ballet. Bye-bye.